Hi, good morning. This is 8am in 7 Days to Die, Alpha 5. Here we are again in Alpha 5. New updates, new zombies, new weapons. Absolutely fantastic. Welcome to all you guys who are joining from Steam. I'm going to show you a little bit of how to survive your first night the way I do it. Not the way everybody does it. Some people like to do it differently. But here we go, starting with the looting of all the goods around your spawn point. You usually spawn near a car, and the best thing to do is first of all touch everything near the car, see what you've got. I will show you how things work as we go along. Oh, gun in this one, this is good. To search the trash bags, it's all useful stuff. We don't have very long. It's a short day here at Nubbers Gain, and uh, things go very quickly. And if you are outside while the zombies are very active at night you will die there is no escape you will die it's not a question of just um, thinking that you can survive you need to get shelter you need to find out where you are I'm clicking M key to bring up the map to see where I am your little triangle is here right look at the top right hand corner of the map northeast we're coming down towards Deersville, which is the highest uh, population town. There's a farm here, there's a church in the middle here, and there are industrial buildings at the bottom of the map and factories and the Gravestown, which is a nasty place to be. So we spawned in quite a nice place. It's green, it's lush, there's lots of looting around. So we're going to head down towards Dyersville and we're going to go south. I'm going to follow this road. You can hear the zombies screeching in the background. We don't have time to waste. If you run too far and too fast, you will get tired, you need water, food, and you need guns. We do have a gun in our inventory right now. You search everything. Everything is pick upable, everything is destructible in this game. You will find lots of stuff hanging around, and also lots of zombies. They're fairly easy to kill at daytime, when they run slow, unless you have it set to always run, which is... Uh, a little bit beyond my capabilities so I'm going to show you in the default setting which is running at night and quiet and slow in the daytime. Mind you, they're never quiet. You may want to set your uh, audio settings a bit lower than the game allows because they are very loud sometimes. But it's good to hear them coming. Very good to hear them coming. Okay. Take everything. Don't get too tired. Look at the bottom left of my screen and you will see four little squares surrounding my mini-map. And they show that the green one is your hunger, which you need to satisfy, obviously, with food. Uh, the lower pale blue one is water, which gets depleted quite quickly in this desert environment. The top right is your health, that is, if you get bashed or you fall, or if you uh, get hit or you get shot, then that health, red health bar will, uh, will drop. And the lower right one is your stamina, which is affected by all those things. If any of the other three are low, you will start to feel tired and you will slow down and not be able to respond as quickly to what's going on. <coughs> now, I'm going to uh, chop down a tree. Everything in this game responds to the physics. But the quickest way to knock down a tree is to undermine it by hitting the dirt beneath it. You can chop it with an axe if you've got one, and you can hit it with a shotgun, but it takes a long time and it wastes a lot of ammunition. So I find this is the best way, just to undermine the tree. Everything will drop, step back, or it will drop on you and affect your health. So we're picking up some dirt, some tree trunks. And we're still heading uh, towards the south. Now, my method of survival in this game is to uh, go underneath the rivers. I find that's the best way. So I'm heading south right now for this river that's running past uh, the corn farm and uh, the town. But I'm going to go f between the town and the river. There's some zombies ahead of us. I better get my gun out. headshots definitely the best way to go. We have zombies that climb, zombies that crawl, and zombies that fly uh, in the form of hornets. They are not nice, I promise you. 
Uh, you don't need to be outside at night. Look at the time all the time. 12 o'clock. We need to get safe before things get hairy and we don't have very long to do it. Okay, here we're coming to Deersville now. Dyersville. Deersville, Dyersville, people pronounce it. I think it's meant to be pronounced Dyersville because it's seven days to die, right? But a lot of people can pronounce it Deersville. And here we come to the town. Look at that. Nice town. Pretty town. Loot everything. Everything is valuable. I will show you as we go how things work. Ah, good. With some water. Hunting knife and some shotgun shells. Excellent. We do need to get some... Um, I can hear a dog. Oh, zombie dogs are nasty. We need some scrap metal. Railings are a good source of scrap metal. Uh, we do need to have a pick to dig a hole in the ground to get safe. I'm showing you my method. Some people like to bombard themselves, barricade themselves in the top of a house. Uh, some people like to uh, go underground. Some people like to go out into the countryside and build a shelter from scratch uh, with stone and various other things. You can jump these fences, by the way. Always best to uh, hit these railings from the back not from the inside because you will see that these wooden posts if you hit them they take the strength and don't give you the stuff so hit them from the outside rather than the inner area i'll show you what happens if you hit them from the inside okay, you see i'm hitting the wood i'm hitting the wood it's not doing me any good waste of time hit from the outside Everything in this game is destructible. I could be hitting the porch here and it will give me wood. I could be hitting the grass and it will give me grass fibers, etc. Everything here is... Uh, oh, there's a dog. I don't like dogs. Ah, no, 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 no. I don't want a dog. I don't want the dogs. Run away, run away, run away. Okay, why not? Oh, oh it's hitting me. Ah, I'm lagging. I'm lagging, I'm lagging. Nasty dogs. Sometimes they carry stuff. I don't know why that dog is carrying a water bottle. I don't know why that dog is carrying a stick. It's just the way it is. Right, let's see where we are. I need to head for the river. So I need to go west. Uh, yes. How are we doing for time? Oh, it's getting... Mm, it's getting late. 2.30. I've got to get to the river. Have I got enough scrap iron? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, I've got loads of scrap iron. This is cool. Oh, here comes another dog. I hear it. I'm going to run. I'm passing by all this good loot, and it's worrying me that I'm passing it by. But if you get distracted and start picking up stuff, you will be late to get to safety, and we must get to safety before dark or we die. Oh, I can't resist a backpack on the ground. Some shotgun shells. Right. I'm heading for the river now. I'm going to go. I'm going to bypass this farm because it's full of zombies. Coronado is great for, for corn, uh, for loot. You can get all sorts of tools there because it's a farm. There's tools and equipment there. There's, there's usually food there as well. But our main priority right now is to get safe before dark, and it's half past three. So I'm heading for the river. As I say, this method of survival doesn't suit everyone, but it suits me fine. Some people climb on top of bridges, and that's a good way also of surviving. Recommended that by a friend. Um, but uh, now then, right, go into inventory. See on the right here, white things. White lists of, of things you can make. We haven't made anything yet, so they're all white. Once they're green, you will find that uh, you don't need to guess how to do it. There you see wood planks has now gone green. I've got 56 wood planks. Next time I want wood planks, I will just press on that green and... Uh, the green one, and it will automatically fill this inventory in for me. Uh, let's do some more plywood, because we need some sticks for ladders. Okay, we've got sticks. I'm going to lay down four planks in the river. Now look at this, watch me here. Alright, I put 
down the bank from the river. I'm going to put another three. There we go. Now then we need to make a pick. Uh, in order to make a pick you need scrap metal. Um, we need to make iron ingots from the scrap metal. There's an iron ingot. There you see it's gone green because we've made it. And I take it into my inventory. Now watch what happens when I want another iron ingot. Because it's green, I've done it before, it automatically does it for me. I press again, I get two, and I can go on like that as long as I need it. And now we need to make um, some sticks. I'm going to put this here. I've got 18 sticks, that's cool. And I'm going to make a pick. So we need to make a pickaxe. There's the recipe for pickaxe. Because I've got the items in my inventory that are capable of making it, then I can make it. This is how you make a pickaxe. A lot of people don't realize what you have to do. There we go, four iron ingots, one, three sticks, and we've got a pickaxe we can dig with. And now the pickaxe is green, uh, highlighted green in the, in the inventory, and we can make it any time we want it without having to go through that little difficulty. So I'm going to step here, and I'm going to make a hole in the ground. Like I say, everything is destructible in this game. I'm going to dig down. There's no lava in this game, so if you're coming from Minecraft, you don't have to worry about lava. That's fine. I am also going to make some ladders. Let's make some more of these sticks here. Lots more sticks. There we go. Now, I need to make a ladder. So, in order to make a ladder, here's the recipe in the grid. We put sticks in there. And we've got three ladders. We get three ladders out of that many sticks. But I don't have to try again because it automatically fills in, automatically fills in like that. Right, now then I'm going to dig down. It's quarter past, quarter to six at night. The sun is starting to go down. We are needing to get straight and safe before nightfall. You, if you left click, you can move where your ladder is going to be placed. Just keep left clicking until you get it to the orientation that you want, which is here. Now uh, hitting stone, that's why we need a pick. We could actually have punched the dirt with our fists, but once we get to stone, it gets a lot more difficult. Use the E key to pick things up. I'm going to lay another ladder so I don't get too far away. You can't lay it right in front of you because you're standing on the block, so you have to go down a little further. <coughs> oh, this is going to get me tired, so I've got to really conserve my energy. There's my ladder. Now I'm going to go... Where's the ladder up there? I'm going to go behind me and dig along and get out of the way of these zombies. Now, at the moment I can't climb that ladder because there's nothing at the bottom, but now that I've stepped back I can place ladders again. Collect stone first. Uh, ladder, ladder. Zombies can climb down ladders, but they tend not to if you're away from them. So what we have to do, see, they will gather where I am. At the moment, you can see my little triangle on the map at the left. I'm right underneath my ladder. And they will gather there, they will drop down there, they will come and find me. If I move away from the ladder, they will gather over the head of where I'm standing. And they won't bother me down the ladder. You have to keep away from where you, your exit is or you will find that there's a lot of zombies waiting for you in the morning. And that's quite difficult to get out when there's a lot of them around you. It's now half past seven in the evening. 19.41, quarter to eight. Zombies start to get very active from nine to 9.30 at night. So you need to be underground by 9 o'clock or you are in trouble. You need to be safe and secure. This is a very simple way of being safe and secure for your first base. 
uh, I think I'm far enough away from the ladder now. Look at all that stone. I'm going to pick that up because it's useful for building materials. And that will go straight into my inventory. Now I'm going to make a torch and light this up a little bit. I'll just make a hole in the side because I can't place the torch where I'm standing. Back to the inventory. We need a stick. And we need some cloth fragments or some coal. I'll show you how to make coal, coal torches another ha time. But there we go. I've used cloth fragments and I have got four torches. And I can light myself. Oh, I've dropped them, I think. Have I dropped them? Oh, let's see. Oh, no, in my inventory. There we go. There's a torch. Now I can see what I'm doing. Not so dark. And we are safe now for the night. It's half past eight in the evening. I'm going to dig a little further just because I've got time to do so before the night falls and I will end this video when you start to hear the zombies rising around me and coming to find me oh I'm getting tired look my health bar is fine but my hunger and my water are low and my stamina is therefore low I have picked up some food, chicken ration, and have I got any water? Ooh, I'm in trouble, I haven't got any water. But we should be able to get through the night. Oh yes, I've got water. There's three bottles of water. That's very unusual for me not to have water. Water is very important to keep your stamina going to make you able to survive. Here they come. Look. 2127, that's 927, and here they come. You can hear them starting to gather. They will gather above me, not where my ladder is, because I'm way away from the ladder. But they will gather here. You can hear them starting to gather. I'm going to drink some water so you can see how what a difference that water makes to my stamina. Watch this. Right click to drink the water. Up goes the stamina. Up goes the stamina. Look at that. You see, it's water that counts. Water is very important. We are, after all, in the desert. Okay. It's nearly 10 o'clock at night. I am safe underground. My ladder is there waiting for me in the morning. The zombies are gathering over my head, not over there. If I go stand over there, they will come and down the ladder and come and find me. So I'm going to leave this video here. This is how to survive your first night the warrior box way, but you can choose another way if you wish. Take care. Thank you very much for listening to this video. Please like and subscribe and comment if you want more. If you have trouble, in, you're having trouble with anything, if you would need to know some tips and tricks. I do a whole series of five-minute tips and tricks, which you'll find on my channel if you subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck in your survival in Navas game. Take care for now.